Drury Banks here with, for Crown. I'm here with Naz Log. Nice to meet you, man. Been hearing a lot about you. Tell the people out there a little bit about your game. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a point guard, six feet point guard, 195 pounds. You know, um, I'm the person that likes to shoot the ball, but um, I like to create for others. So uh, when I get another person to pass, and when they score that bucket, I feel the same way as me scoring the bucket. That's just like getting the W at the end of the game. That's me. So tell the people about your history. I mean, you played here in Toronto. Yes, where were you at, and where are you at now? Um, I was at Father Gates. You know, Father Michael Gates down in Mississauga. And, um, you know, just playing out there, great time playing senior, you know, just to help my game. But now um, I'm at Montrose Christian, that's Kevin Durant's old high school. And, you know, um, that's just uh, helped me build my game, build my character physically and mentally. That's me. Tell the people out there, a few of the players that you played against down at Montrose. Um, down at Montrose, we um, came with, uh, um, across a bunch of players like uh, Kendall Marshall, the All American, had to guard Kendall. Um, played uh, in the same tournaments as our own Canadians, uh, Tristan Thompson and Corey Joseph. And uh, played, uh, seen a bunch of players, you know, a lot of great talent, like uh, Austin Rivers on the ESPN tournament, um, seen uh, Anthony Bennett, you know, down there, everyone, seen a lot of players. So the competition is there. Talk a little bit about the difference between I mean, playing up here in Canada, playing in the States. Um, the difference is, like, for here, for every one shooter, there's plenty out there, you know, so not that the competition is bad out here because it's where I started, it's where we all need to start, all as Canadians. And um, going out there, it's like every player is good, so every team's good. So the competition is always hard. You gotta be 100% mentally focused, 100% physically focused, or you know you're gonna fall behind the pack. And that's what it is. So now you see the competition level down there. What separates you from a lot of the competition? I believe that I'm physically and mentally ready. You know, coming from Canada, I believe that I do have some on my back and some that I need to prove. You know, I'm following up again behind Tristan and Corey. Like I need to come there. Oh, and also Mike Bongo. You know, so coming down there, I believe that I'm physically and mentally ready to uh, go after what I need to get. Miss some of your strengths so the people out there know what your game's all about. I believe I can shoot the basketball well, you know, knock on the open jumper, knock on the contested jumper. Um, I penetrate the ball very well and I pass very well, I believe. What can you improve on going um, forward? I believe I can uh, improve on my ball handling skills. The point guard, you got to be able to retreat and you know, hit him with that crossover. And I believe like everything can um, do some improvement because no one's perfect, but that, that probably the most. Now talk a little bit about schooling now. Everybody goes down there and you think prep school, you think maybe not as good education-wise. Talk a little bit about how much that means for you and your family. Um, that, well, education is like the main thing. Um, all of us say uh, school first, basketball second, and a lot of people like me, I tend to put school, um, basketball first, you know? But uh, going out to um, Montrose Christian, I was a scholar athlete, averaging a 3.0 and higher, and um, I just had a 94 average. So education is a top priority, and that's probably the reason why I had to go because I wasn't really focused. You know, and going out there and having the discipline that I had with the people around me made me real focused. And my mom and dad's priority is number one education. That sounds good. What's your plans for this summer? I mean, to get your yourself ready for next season. Um, I'm with uh, Team Takeover Canada. I'm um, gonna be, you know, rocking out with Coach Tony, Mike George, and that's what I'm doing. Just get ready with all the coaches and all the players, you know. And um, I'm trying to, I'm gonna be at the cadet tournament. I mean, the cadet tryouts, and I'm trying to go for the Team Canada as well. Well, man, good luck to that, to you down there for the cadet tryouts. Uh, good luck, definitely in the summer. Put the hard work in. You gotta, you know, get it done. Yes, sir. Uh, anything out there you want to tell the people? You know, um, just we're Canadian. You know, just keep doing what we gotta do in order to get out there and uh, be the best that we can be. Because we're not different from Americans. Matter of fact, we have more to work for. And I just believe, you know, Canada's got a lot to come out. We got a lot of talent coming out. There, you heard it first here. Naslong telling it like it is. CrownMagOnline.com. Tune in.